University of Southern Mindanao as it is known today was formerly the Mindanao Institute of Technology, a state college established in the heart of Mindanao, specifically at Kabakan, Cotabato. The campus is a 1,024-hectare land grant, which was formerly under the administration of the National Abaca and Other Fibers Corporation, or NAFCO. USM is a vision come true for a prominent Maguindanawan lady educator by Hadja Fatima Matabay Plang, who conceived as early as 1950s the establishment of MIT. Bai Matabay Plang spent her own resources and efforts and consistently lobbied in the corridors of power for the establishment of MIT. At the same time, she worked for the transfer of the NAFCO property to the proposed state institution for educational purposes. Eventually, her determined efforts and sacrifices began to bear fruit. Her lobbying culminated with success when the late President Elpidio Quirino signed on June 20, 1952, the Republic Act No. 763 creating the Mindanao Institute of Technology. Eventually, on August 1954, Professor Emeterio Asinas was appointed the first MIT president. Initial building construction during the first years included the Agronomy Building, the Home Economics Building, Trade Buildings, Machinery in shop buildings Women's dormitory And the famous concrete water tank In February 1958, Dominador Di Clemente was appointed as second president of MIT During President Clemente's time, there were three graduate programs and seven curricular offerings excluding post-secondary and special opportunity courses. On August 20, 1975, Dr. Jaman S. Imlan was appointed third MIT president. On his third year of administration, President Imlan initiated and submitted to higher authorities a feasibility study entitled Conversion of Mindanao Institute of Technology into University of Southern Mindanao. Barely three months after the feasibility study was submitted to Malacanang, Presidential Decree No. 1312, converting MIT into USM was issued by President Ferdinand Marcos on March 13, 1978. USM has become the first state university in the region. Dr. Kundo Ipam was appointed as fourth president of the institution and second as president of the university. Among his significant accomplishments include the two-story University Learning Resource Center and the University Veterinary Hospital. On September 22, 1994, Dr. Virgilio G. Oliva became as fifth president of USM. During his administration, he was able to establish the computerization of the university through the Information Systems Committee, now UICTO. He also put up the university's radio station, DXVLFM, started the construction of the new said building with funding from the Office of Governor, Emilu Talinio Mendoza. The Department of Hotel and Restaurant Management Building, the integration of USM Kidapawan City Campus, to name a few. Dr. Jesus Antonio G. Dirige was then appointed as president of the university on January 8, 2009. One of his significant contributions to the development of the university is the initial construction of the Office of Student Affairs Building and the Cas Chad Dap Building, now the College of Arts and Social Sciences Building. 
On February 14, 2014, Dr. Francisco Hill N. Garcia became the next university president. He worked on making USM a smart university by strengthening the institution through the accreditation of almost all of its program offerings. And under his helm, USM applied, succeeded, and renewed for ISO certification. To bring the university closer to the communities, he also initiated the establishment of USM Extension campuses in the municipalities of Libungan, Alamada, Aliosan, and Nanga. With varied sources of funding and support from Governor Emilio Taniño Mendoza and TUCP, USM under Dr. Garcia's administration completed the construction of the College of Agriculture Covered Court, the ULS Covered Basketball Court, and various covered walks within the campus. Dr. Garcia's leadership also completed the construction of the USM Auditorium, Science and Technology Building, the Department of Criminology Building, the Psychosocial Research and Psychological Testing Center, the Information and Technology Building, the new IMIAS Building, the new Women's Dormitory, the USM Commercial Building, the opening of the College of Medicine, and the College of Law. Truly, the conversion of MIT to a university brought in its curricular offerings which encouraged and attracted more students to enroll in different degree programs. It also helped decongest the cities of their fast increasing student population and made higher education more accessible to Christians, Muslims, and indigenous people in rural Mindanao. Today, on its anniversary, USM continues to develop and nurture a culture of excellence along its mandated functions of instruction research, extension, and production.